This camera that comes in the pouch, it's really hilarious that they have this thing in the pouch. Kandao QCam Ego. This is this uh, 3D camera where you can take 3D images and video with. You can see this here. It has two lenses in there and uh, a viewer attached to it. So you can, when you look in here, your nose goes here. You look through here, you can see your 3D videos in 3D, color 3D. You can remove the viewer and then you can use this to record either pictures or video. The worst thing on this camera is that it takes forever to turn on. So if I push the on button and wait, nothing happens. So you have to really push hard for longer. And there it comes on. And then you see how long it takes for it to to get ready. I'm going to wait for this on purpose. How long? There's the picture, but no buttons yet. You have to wait longer. There's the buttons. There we go. And it's ready. All right. It tells us that our SD card is not fast enough. So let's get a little closer here to the camera. right here and then I want to focus on this a little bit oh, there we go now we can see better the speed of my SD card is too low that's too bad we see we have Wi-Fi we have battery the SD card has enough memory on there we can record there's a record button here there it's recording video right now after the firmware update we have a new function what is um, an auto zoom? Auto auto focus. There we go. Auto focus. It focuses there on this spot. Go over here. Click there, and that auto focuses over there. Now you see me shaking. You see also I hold the camera like this with my thumb in front of the lenses. Oh, no big deal because I'm in between those two lenses. But all right, so let's stop the video recording again here. We can switch here to the pictures. Where we can take pictures. And pictures also has the autofocus there. See how it pulsates and how it takes a long time to do it. There. There too. Takes forever. And then I can take a picture here. Um, people complain about the button over here. Yeah, I have to focus a little bit. This button is way too hard to push in. It's just when you push this in the whole camera is going to shake because it's so hard. So there is a software button that does the same functionality here. There, that's half as bad. And <coughs> let's see here. If we go and swipe up, does this do anything to us? And like look in now for the settings here. Do we have settings? There we have settings. You see how it's laggy and weird. There we have the about button. Um, and there we have our firmware version 2.7.10. That is the latest as of the making of this video. And here's how it looks like. Yeah, you can use this thing as a webcam now. I just want to try this. I want to have a 3D live stream. Wouldn't that be nice? I wonder how that would work. But yeah, so that's uh, a possibility. Let's turn this thing off, this bad boy, like here, off. Did I turn it off or not? Also a mode button here. You push short, it's mode. I think it is off now. Oh, now it comes back on. It takes forever to come on. Yeah, that's how it is. It takes forever. Yeah, off button. Oh, that gives you... Fingers are going to cramp when you use this. That goes. And... Yeah, if you want to watch your videos later, you turn it back on. It comes on. Now it takes a long time. It takes so long, this is just really annoying. There we 
goes and then you go here to watch is it ready there's the buttons okay my message for the sd card i think you only you click here on this thing here that is the replay thing and is this is a video here yeah the seven of seven seven of seven is a uh, my latest picture, picture, five of seven. This is a video, and we play this. You hear me talking, and uh, it's moving around, right? Go there. You can go here. Can you not click on this? All those buttons don't work. You can only play. I doubt that. There. There we have it. So you had one mic. So you can do autoplay, you can do a rectification and rectification and anti shake and share, right? So do rectification and anti shake. So it does the anti shake processing on the left and right video on both of them. You see how fast it is. There was a very short video what we did here. Very short video. And this is how long it takes, right? So there is a desktop app too where you can do this on the desktop app. There it is done. And now you should be able to play once you push the confirm button, you can play this video now without shaking. So I don't know if this thing has wind noise reduction or not. It is windy here, so I should have some foam in front of the microphones. I don't. Okay, let's try uh, autofocus here on the flag. It was autofocus on the flag. And then I walk over there and then we see shakes or not how the shaking goes and we are going to um, remove the shake in camera and see how that works out we have a 30 40 second video another autofocus back there one autofocus up front here okay and then we have our minute video yeah, and that's how the camera works with this new firmware update. Kandao Ego Cam, QCam Ego, that's what it's called.